let me let me just get right to it here at what exact point does the current senator paul kirk the democrat at what exact point does he cease being the senator from the state of massachusetts now it's a very exact and very pointed question well, your senator, answer let, let me answer your question Rick. first of all the senate the united states senate is the judge of the qualifications of its own members in other words they get to decide who is seated and when you may recall just about a year ago the controversy surrounding Senator Burris and uh -huh. the issue of his qualification and indeed the controversy regarding the Minnesota Senate seat. So the Senate itself under the United States Constitution is the judge of the qualifications and the status of their own members. Senator Kirk will serve until his successor has qualified. That means sworn in. Now let me just tell you just so there be no misunderstanding as to right. what our procedure has been here in Massachusetts on federal vacancies in the past under my administration. Mm -hmm. Whenever we have a decisive result, we almost immediately issue a letter to the appropriate authority. In the case of the two previous cases, it was the House to the clerk of the House saying, unofficial returns indicate this result. What's a decisive result, by the way? That's an interesting A decisive, word, decisive. result would be one that would be beyond the margin for a recount, which would be one half of one percent. Uh, I would also want to make sure that it was outside of the margin of uncounted absentee ballots. We have an obligation under federal law to make sure that overseas military absentee ballots are counted. Obviously, we want to make sure that not only are they counted, but if they were to affect the outcome, that, then you could not issue such a letter. So let's suppose one side or the other blows the other one out tonight. What is the soonest that you will be able to certify this winner? Well, certify is a different word. Okay. Certify is what the law says. The law says in order to certify, I have to count every single ballot. And as the law, the federal law requires me to give 10 days to overseas absentee balloters. Oh, yeah, what's the word I should be using then? Declare? Uh, I would declare a winner. If, there, if there's a de decisive winner, I would give them the same letter that I gave to Congresswoman Songus and Congressman Lynch in the two special elections I administered before, stating that the, un, that the uh, unofficial results indicate this result. And that letter has been sufficient in the House in the two past cases for that person to be sworn in. That judgment, however, will be up to the Senate. I will tell you that the United States Senate, not only the two examples I've already given to you, but even in the case of Senator Kerry, who began his new term in the beginning of 2009, the United States Senate insisted on a very formal certificate before they were allowed to be resworn. Mm. So they have very different rules. Well, let me ask you this then. Now let's take it and look at it the other way. Let's turn it upside down if we possibly can, because some folks are saying this, close, this is close enough that this could happen. Well, let's suppose that we don't have a declared win, uh, winner tonight or tomorrow because it falls within that margin that you described earlier. Then what do you do? What is the process within the state of Massachusetts? Do you start canvassing the board to count the votes? What well, do you do? For, no. First of all, we have to make sure that every ballot that has been submitted is counted. That is to say the overseas absentees. It also opens the opportunity for one of the candidates, or both of them perhaps, to request a formal recount. In Massachusetts, we vote with paper ballots, uh, that is to say cards that are counted by computer. Right. But the opportunity is always there and is frequently done in recounts to have a hand count of the ballots if that were to occur. Again, that really will defi define the progress from here forth. If, if the result is decisive, it's my intention to issue a letter to the winner, whoever that is, stating that the unofficial results indicate thus and so, and that person then would be in the position of going to the United States Senate and letting them decide, as they must, whether they intend to honor that letter. As I've said, the House in the past two instances has honored it. I can't speak to what the Senate would do. It's really up to the United States Senate to determine that. If the result is not decisive, then obviously it's important everybody that participates in this election, I'll tell you we're having a wonderful turnout today despite the weather, uh -huh. uh, to make sure that the result is accurate and complete. And I'm committed to making sure that it's accurate and complete. We do not rush to judgment in Massachusetts at the expense of voters' rights. We let me ask the you, voters' rights as the highest rights. Let me ask you.